everyone. This is just a really quick update and I want to thank everyone so much uh, for checking out the collaboration video. Really, really appreciate that you guys watched it and uh, it was such an honor to work with some of these amazing artists and so happy about that, really excited about that. It was so great how it turned out and so thank you everyone. And uh, Basically what I've been catching up on is working on anatomy and refreshing on the basics and so basically about a week or so I've been doing drawings and highly recommend highly recommend these two books right here if you don't have it go to amazon.com right now I'll try to post the links and buy these books they will help you so much uh, this one's how to draw and paint anatomy imagine FX and you can just see it, it's amazing it breaks it down it's got lots of poses it goes through the legs the torso uh, and then the hands. Highly recommend this. I'm only, I'm barely even in. I'm up to the legs right now. But there's so much I've learned and so much that refreshed me. And it's also got animals. So if you're into animal drawings, it shows similarity. Get this. Definitely get this. Oh my gosh, you will see a difference. Because uh, what I was blown away about is I needed so much more practice on anatomy, especially what we draw, you know, we draw a lot of characters and a lot of action figure or superheroes and things. So it's very important to know anatomy, at least have a basic understanding. So this is huge. And the other book is this. This is a great book, Force. I haven't started reading it, but just from the back and it shows the back. Get this from Amazon too. Amazing. It just shows the way they break it down. Cause Oh, it's just incredible because, you know, that's something my drawings were lacking too. You know, it's always good to go back and critique yourself and always learn new things. Uh, and something, like I was saying, my drawings lacked was kind of this dynamic sense of energy, or as the book puts it, force. You know, a lot of my drawings were stiff, and so it just, I can't describe how much it helped me improve. So get these. This is Michael Day Matisse, force. Dynamic Life Drawn for Animators, and this one. Uh, and it's always good to refresh. That's something that blows me away with drawing. You're always learning new things, especially when it comes to anatomy and figure drawing. You always learn. Even when you feel like you've mastered it or you got it down, you're like always learning new things and tricks. Uh, and so that should help a lot. And real quick, I'll show you my sketchbook just to show you kind of the improvement, just what little I read. Those two books, seriously though, out of all the books, I read lots of anatomy books. Uh, I read George Bridgman, Andrew Loomis, and all those are very helpful too. They're amazing teachers, they're amazing books. But for some reason, those two books have just clicked with me. Like they just clicked something where I really think you'll understand it better. And, you know, then, and here's just some of the sketches I did, and you can see the improvement because, like I said, I just, here's like a quick thing. Uh, I'll just go through this quickly, but you know, I didn't have a really great understanding of the shoulders and lots of things, and you could just see these real quick sketches, uh, and here's where it gets kind of better, this is just character design, you know, I was just having fun drawing again, just real, real simple lines and kind of this character up here, I really enjoyed doing that, uh, and that's why it's so important, and like a little Batman pose, it didn't start like one, but Ended up, and you could just see the difference. Just the book did so slowly. And I'm gonna just keep practicing, and here's some more females, female face, and just different little sketches. Uh, and this one I love. I really like how this came out. It's like Batman. I just having fun with the anatomy, and then a back again. And these were fun. I did these last night. Another little pose. And then like a Ganondorf kind of face. And that's the Robin. I was just gesturing. Uh, but once again, so important to practice. Uh, I, I just had so much to refresh on. And let's get started with this. So I really hope if you got those books, I hope they help a lot. Uh, very important to realize as a lot of younger drawers and artists, uh, it'll just start to click like I really do believe you'll get to a point when you're when you're a lot older Maybe in 20s or so and then start to click better because when you're younger uh, You slowly start to learn, but I think I really do believe this is just my opinion 
but from own personal experience, like I had so much trouble. And then as you start to get older and mature, and I think it's really something with the way your brain works, you start to see things different, things start to click more and more. So it's kind of like, uh, don't get discouraged is what I'm saying. If, if those books don't help you and you have trouble still, don't, don't get discouraged because uh, it really is a matter of time. So let's draw Robin from the animated series, baby. I love this. I love this show. I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to start with the gesture this time. I haven't really talked about gesture too much, but gesture is absolutely amazing. You just go at it. You get all your proportions and lines. And this is a way a lot of professionals do. And this, this is something I really haven't done until recently since I read those books. So I want to bring that in. Gesture, you get your proportions out. And I'll show you here. And big thing to always remember when you're drawing, don't focus on the details at first. Just focus on getting your proportions, your anatomy, all those basic structures, and then you can add it on, and you'll see a huge difference. So for this one, I'm just going to start with a simple line that kind of arches up, and it's a fairly simple pose, you know, uh, but you want to make sure you have the proper anatomy. And then I'm not too concerned. I'm not too concerned about finish thing like I just said but start with this basic shape for the torso and it gets really skinny here and you can see it comes out where the shoulder is going to come out it's a real simple shape keep that shape there and I'm excited about doing this drawing this should be fun and you can even make it a little skinnier if you want being that you know he's still kid anatomy he's not going to be huge wide shoulders and then the bottom all I'm doing is adding little shapes, and the shape of the lower pelvis area kind of comes down, arches, and with gesture, gesture is so fun, and uh, then like here you got an arm coming out, all I'm doing is marking little proportions, I'm not doing anything to finish, the arm comes out here, and there's so many different ways you could do gesture, but the goal of gesture is you want to mark lines, this is where the hand sets and this knee comes out. So you can see I'm, I'm using lines, I'm using shapes, I'm using a combination of both. And I highly recommend search gesture drawings on YouTube uh, on here and you'll find a bunch of great artists that will help out. And then see this leg, this leg kind of goes like this. I'm just marking that force, that energy. Oh my gosh, those books have helped a ton. Like I was just blown away, I was kind of not that optimistic because I've read a lot of books and I don't know why they just like I said it may have been because I read them when I was a little younger so it didn't click back then and now I understand drawing so much more uh, but that those books I recommend please get them I promise it will help you because a big thing we are focusing on character drawing that's the big thing of the site of our channel and so as a result being that you're focusing on that it's very important that uh, you have a basic understanding of anatomy because you got to know at least the shapes and things like that. And see, this arm just kind of comes in. So I'm just using these little sketchy lines and the hands about right here, a little fist. I'm just drawing a little stylized fist, nothing fancy. But that's that's what's huge. Like like obviously, if you say for example you're focused on buildings, you like to draw scenery and backgrounds. You know, you have to get a book or Train yourself to understand, uh, to understand basic construction of tree forms. You, you know what I'm saying. So that's why it's so important. And there was so much I was lacking. This is awesome. This is awesome. And so for Robin, you got the basic body here, and he's kind of top part is kind of wide. He's very young. He's kind of muscular up top. And notice how small this shape is compared to the upper. You can make it a little longer if you want. Then the head is the important part. It starts about, you know, in the middle. Real simple cylinder shape. And no, real important though, his shoulders are not that broad. So I'm just going to mark an area where I'm putting the head. Simple shape. See, you just make almost this oval shape. And look, very important, look how kind of big the head is compared to, it's almost, the whole head is almost as big as the chest. And that's very important because he's a kid and when you're dealing with anatomy of children and stuff, the head is always, you know, proportionate to the body. You know, when you're drawing, uh, say if this is a superhero like Superman, an adult, look at the head. 
it's that big and that head shape fits in there and that's the chest mass whereas this you know that whole head can fit in there and you know you, you mark it down so that's just something uh, to always keep in mind when you're drawing younger characters and usually the head shape too if you're drawing younger characters the nose and stuff starts lower they have a higher mass of the skull here so now that I got that in I'm just gonna mark his, his nose kind of up, up turns a bit and very simple shapes you don't want to over emphasize because that's the style that they do with the animated series you know real simple just a line for the mouth uh, and then this curves up and it curves upward like that and you can see I'm doing very loose things the ear kind of fits in here it's got this little ear shape and the neck comes down and I'm bouncing around the symbol be about right here the Robin symbol so make a circle and through the lines but look how quick what's amazing about gesture and the more you get at, right now I am a little timid uh, because I kinda wanna teach you without confusing you so sometimes gesture can be a little tough to take in uh, but look how quick we got that basic form down like real simple and this leg comes up and legs very important when it comes to legs <clears throat> they start off wider at this part and then they get <clears throat> they start off wider and then as they get towards the kneecap they get skinnier and you can just see how this leg is coming in and he's got his foot on a platform here so you're going to see the bottom and I'll draw a line for kind of the platform coming up just so you can tell it's there you can make a dark line that's what's amazing about drawing you can just that's what I love about drawing the lines you can make the dynamic lines don't be afraid to emphasize lines you know a lot of people when you draw a leg they'll make little cylinder marks just whatever you feel comfortable with gesture as long as you get down and this is going to be sketchy so you got that foot there and this that and this leg and see how it just gets skinnier towards the knee that kind of bounces out oh my gosh I'm having fun I'm kind of making a little muscular like I'm sticking to the animated series style but at the same time I'm making a little more depth in terms of lines just to give it a kind of a stronger uh, feel you know like I say uh, you don't want to copy someone else's style, you want to learn from it. And that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm, I'm using the basic construction and the forms and the basic shapes and pose, but I am kind of want to make it my own little exaggerated style. Then the little eye thing fits right here. It's kind of oval shaped, kind of like that. See how simple it's? Oh, I see it now! I see Robin! <laughs> And then like the arms, uh, this part comes here, the glove, and then this is where you can start having fun. I'll put a link on, on the video where, I forget his name, Gene Valupo, I think, or something. It's a weird name, but he does gesture drawings, and you can even make the arms skinnier being that as a kid. Like I said, I kind of want to get a little stronger. Uh, but he does, great tip he gives. And that's why I talk a ton in my videos, you know, if, if you're wondering why I talk a lot, because, you know, I really do believe a huge part of drawing comes from a mental understanding. Like, like you can be the best at blending colors, you can be the best at drawing lines and forms, uh, and you can be amazing artistically with what your hand can do and images, but a very important thing is, for a lot of people who are learning, it's so important to understand to get over certain mental blocks and that's why I talk but like I say that's why I talk a lot and that's why that's why a lot of my videos are so much longer you know a lot of drawn videos are a maximum 10 minutes you know or they're speed drawings but you know that's what I try to push that's so different with my channel is to teach you to really teach you and you know because one thing 
I could say one thing, like there may be one thing I said in this video that's going to click for you guys and when you go back to Joy, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that really makes sense and it'll change the way you think, the way you approach things. And that's what fascinates me about drawing is it's like, it's like you're constantly learning mentally and you're also improving your hand skills and everything. It's just, it's really amazing to me. Uh, and that's why I kind of offer a bunch of tips and things. You can see I'm just sticking with the hairstyle. Kind of curves up. You can exaggerate if you want. A curve, then a... Then notice this comes down. And it curves down. And see how these angles just meet. There's something kind of like that. So let's finish it up here. The hand here. I'm just making these little lines. Oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna say. Oh my gosh, it was driving me nuts. I was like, what was I, get, what was I gonna say? Now this hand, you don't have to make a perfect hand, but just enough shape. Because that's going to be in black, so you won't really see the hand as much as the form when we shade in black. But uh, the, the gesture video, that's what was on my mind. The gesture video he does, he mentions about style. And what's important is you kind of, you could draw the basic forms in. And there's one part of the video he mentions how you draw the gesture. But what separates you from another artist is the way you finish rendering it and that's that kind of just blew my mind that that simple way he described it, it was like oh wow that makes a lot of sense and it was kind of like uh, just clicked for me because in other words you have a style and your style is like the way like in other words the way I would finish rendering this how I would put values in it and I'll put the link here so you can kind of understand what I'm saying but basically no that's the Real simple thing, you got the R in here, real stylized R, make it like pointed edges, little thing within this, make sure it's within that black circle shape. I'm just going to go in and start darkening things up. I'd start with the face, just really exaggerate the lines, and then if you want, go back clean up a lot of the lines, that's what's going to bring it out. But it, it is amazing how much you can learn of drawing, it's just drawing really is this never ending process of learning and getting better and improving. And see how it just start with a very simple gesture lines and now you got this form erase all these shapes. And look how incredible this is. As soon as you start to erase those lines, you really see Robin. And of course the cape, and I'll do the cape last. I'll just go back, cover all these lines. The cape just flies off here. See right around here, the cape juts out and just curves outward, and that'll be black. And it'll kind of curve down. And capes are fun to draw because it's a lot about lines and shapes. And you know, just make it coming out here, and another one here. This is all black. I'm going to put X's so that way you could shade it in. X there, X there. Those are all the black shapes like I always do. And so basically now that you got the finished foreman, uh, just go back, darken those lines, and I'll show you. I'm just going to darken the hair and mask, and you'll see. I'll just kind of pop up. And then you pretty much have your own Robin drawn from the anime series. Let's see the mask just going. Darken that. Now you can see. Oh yeah! Now it's starting to come along. And then the hair, so X is there. Darken all that. 
X, all those little spots. So now you're good to go. And I hope you learned. I really, really do hope you learned. It's important. Uh, and thank, thanks everyone for watching. The support's been incredible. And a real quick update. Halloween drawings. I'm going to try to draw Jack Skeleton. Hopefully Freddy Krueger and some other Halloween icons. But there you go. And then just finish shading and you are good to go. Thanks everybody. Appreciate it.